Hello and welcome to more memories of a forgotten town in our regular local history series Swindon Through the Years as we compare the images from the past with those of a more modern view and a series I first produced for Swindon Cable Television towards the end of the last millennium back in 1999. In this series, once again, we'll be unlocking memories from the past with the help of the Swindon Society. We'll be discovering pictures from a town long since gone and visiting the modern location to make the comparison and remind ourselves just how much Swindon has changed with the passing of time. Well, this time I'm in the area around the town's railway station. This is Cheltenham Street, and it's certainly an area that has changed beyond all recognition and continues to evolve and change in a modern Swindon. This area is probably one of those along with the town centre that's undergone the most radical of changes. Even when I was growing up in the 1970s, this area was full of rows of brick-built houses. Many of them were run down and had seen their last residents leave for new estates on the outskirts of town. Land was at a premium, not for housing or even shops, but for offices. Today this whole area is covered in office blocks. Take a look at this view of Cheltenham Street, a row of traditional terraced houses now all swept away. It's certainly progress, but I'll leave it to you to decide if it's a positive move. It certainly doesn't feel that way at night when you pass this way, the whole area deserted. It was on a street corner here that the well-known Beals Cafe was situated. You can just make it out in the left-hand corner of our photo that features in this week's Then and Now. Well, certainly contrasting images as we turn back the clock this week and take a look at the images from the past, compare those to a more modern view in the area around the town's railway station. This week's Swindon Through the Years. With the help of the Swindon Society, we're stepping back in time to Swindon of yesteryear. A selection of images then and now from around the town. This is a view of Wellington Street taken 33 years before our modern view back in 1967. It shows the wooden railway mission to the right and in the background construction is underway on what was to become the Debenham building. In fact, construction in this area continued at quite a pace. Today, the whole view has been transformed. Just a couple of the town's many office blocks dwarfing the scene. It's 1900 and a horse-drawn taxi waits outside the Queen's Tap public house opposite the railway station. The Queen's Tap was one of the town's first public houses and still survives as we can see in our view taken almost 100 years later. The mode of transport provides the biggest change between the two pictures. a 1950s view of the front of Swindon Junction Station. It shows a Royal Mail van waiting to pick up mail. As we're about to see, the facade disappeared in the 1970s when the station was completely modernised. Another of the town's office blocks was built in its place. The station now occupies just the lower floors. A different world in this 1970s view of Cheltenham Street looking north. On the corner of this street was the popular Bill's Cafe. Today there's no connection with the past. There are no longer any inhabitants of Cheltenham Street. There are no longer any houses standing in the street. The area was very run down and is one of the places most changed in the modern Swindon of today.
This is the site of Swindon's first electricity works in Corporation Street. The view is from 1910. The chimney stretched up 150 feet into the air. It was originally built to power the trams. Watch the loading door in the side of the building as we move forward in time. Almost 80 years later, it's a window in the main administration block used by Thamesdown Transport. The chimney is long since gone. Remembering the Swindon of yesteryear with the help of the Swindon Society. A glimpse of Swindon through the years. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at the images that reflect a changing Swindon. And if you did, please remember to like, comment or share on Facebook and YouTube. And look out next time when we'll have more Swindon through the years.